In Lesson 1.6, you can take students outside and show them that in shady areas, it's a little cooler than in sunny areas. And the question to investigate is, can students build a little structure that can shade an area and make it cooler? This lesson is one of the engineering design lessons in the NGSS. The idea is for students to identify a problem that they need to create a structure to create shade and then to plan and build a structure and then maybe change it if necessary to make it work better. So let's see how it works. So you can show students some very basic designs for shade structures. There's the type that just have legs and a top. There's a tent type and the umbrella type. And there's many more, but these are some basic ones that students could consider making for their structures. You can help students come up with a design for their structures. If you use construction paper, sometimes it's easier to put two pieces together. Here, the two pieces are taped together and they're being folded along this long side just to give the paper a little more strength. Now, this design is just gonna be a tent. Now, if you were to take one piece of construction paper and just try to form it into a tent, it would just collapse or two pieces would just collapse. So this is a way to give it some structure and strength so that when it's bent into a tent shape and taped down, it'll stay in a tent shape. Now, there's probably other ways to do this, if you were using cardboard, you wouldn't have to go through all the trouble of making all the folds because the paper is stiff enough to begin with. It's just the flimsiness of the construction paper that requires this extra folding. Here's another way you could do it. If you use one sheet of paper, you can just fold the corners up and figure out a way to attach legs to that. One of the pictures uh, that students looked at earlier was just like sort of this kind of a four legs and a roof over it. And so we're using popsicle sticks, just taping them down here to each of the four sides. And now when it's flipped over, you have to tape the popsicle sticks down or it'll be way too flimsy and everything will move too much. So you're going to have to work with students to help them understand this needs a fair amount of support because the materials are not that stiff. Again, if you use cardboard, you wouldn't have to go to so much trouble of making folds and taping to the table. So once these structures are made, and you can make these on like a, a big piece of cardboard like we have here, and take the whole thing outside and test whether the shade provided by your structure actually is enough to keep an area cool and we use thermometers here now the thermometers are on little upside down plastic plates so that they're not registering the heat of the ground instead they're registering the heat of the air which is really what you're trying to do you're trying to cool the area that's under your shade structure eventually it might cool the ground but if, the, if you're on asphalt or cement, that's going to be so hot that it's going to take a long time to cool it if you can do it at all. This whole idea of having a problem, creating a structure, changing it if necessary to serve a purpose, that's something that this whole engineering design cycle is about. So there's an animation that shows these different aspects to students. So here we've got a guy who's in the sun it's pretty hot. We want to provide some shade so we can bring over an umbrella, but this umbrella is made of clear material. It's not very good. So you can explain to students that this umbrella is not good because it's transparent and the light will come right through. So maybe we can do something about that. And so if you click, you can see that, oh, that's a good idea. We added a material that's going to block the sun. So now we have a darker shadow but it's a small shadow and it's not really in the right place. So maybe we can do something about that. So you can move it over and it's a lot closer, but it's still too small. It's not shading our friend well. Now we made the umbrella bigger, so we have a larger shadow, but it's not quite hitting him. So we might have to angle the umbrella a little bit so it provides the best amount of shade. And now he's happy, he's cool in the shade. And in the extend part of the lesson, you can show students different ways to protect them from the sun. 
One way is to have a nice, broad-brimmed hat. Another one might be to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. And another is to use sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun. For the NGSS standard KESS21, use tools and materials to design and build a structure that will reduce the warming effect of sunlight on an area. This lesson directly supports this standard. It's an engineering design challenge for students to try to come up with a structure that can provide enough shade to cool an area when they test it outside. Now there may be other ways to test it, but using the thermometers is one way. In the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, constructing explanations and designing solutions. Now this is for the engineering design standard. Use tools and materials provided to design and build a device that solves a specific problem. That's exactly what students do in the lesson, is they design and build a structure to make a shady area that makes the area cooler. Disciplinary core ideas, weather and climate, that sunlight warms Earth's surface. Well, that's something that students definitely take into account in this case because they're trying to block the sunlight so the surface will be cooler. And for cause and effect, events have causes that generate observable patterns. In this case, sunlight hitting the Earth warms the Earth's surface. And if you can block the sunlight with a structure, that you can cool that area. Thanks for listening and watching and good luck with the lesson.